morning guys welcome back to the channel my name's Kirby and it's Monday I wish I was as happy as Pepper having her breakfast this morning to be out at work and we start the day with a job that's even closer than that service on the Renault a couple of weeks ago because my first job is just behind those gates let's get cracking so first job is this uh, throttle body from this little Honda Jazz. So um, it's a neighbor's car. Um, had an engine light come on, limp mode. Someone had a look at it and said the throttle body needed replacing or cleaning or resetting. He asked me if I could just do a reset on my computer. There was no option for it. Um, so we've got second hand, brand new second hand, um, a throttle body to put on and uh, see how that goes. Cause a new one was mega expensive and I was trying to pop round and um, have a look in between jobs, but I just never get a chance. So I'm gonna quickly flip this over. So airbox is out of the way connector there there's a few pipes that run off of it um all these pipes and fixings gotta take them off i've put that um brand new used um throttle body on there and if i can be honest with you guys i'm struggling for motivation this week um I had my works due Friday, um, so me and a load of other mobile mechanics that I've met um, just through Instagram, we all went out for a night out. Um, so <laughs> that was Friday, and I'm still just about recovering now because I don't really drink anymore. So yeah, I'm just going to go on a computer, see if there's any um, basic settings um, that I missed last time, reset the light. Yeah, it's fairly straightforward to swap that over. Um, I know some of you guys want to see more in-depth um, repairs, sort of almost a step-by-step, -step, but uh, sometimes I've just got to get on with it. Um, and, you know, another thing is the editing would just be, you know, crazy. Um, so I'll try and pick and choose what I film. Um, maybe bits that I think might be interesting or... You know, um, at least you guys can see what I'm doing. This page or this channel rather was never meant to be a how to. Um, just a this is what I get up to. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy that part of it. Um, but yeah, let's get on with this now. So, we've come into the engine control unit, special functions, and then there's throttle learning. Right, so we are on this next job, this little Peugeot. I think it's a 207, 208, something like that. Um, but the complaint was the key wasn't um, the key wasn't turning in the barrel, um, and it wasn't at the time. But I had a little play about with it. Um, got the spare key, and it's obviously now turning. So maybe something was just. Barrel was just getting stuck, one of the wafers. Um, <clears throat> barely, barely done anything to it. Just testing it now. Feels a little bit notchy. Um, customer had already tried a load of things he said and put some WD in there, which I don't think's good. I think it actually dries out the um, wafers inside. So maybe I'll put some GT85 um, in there because I think that's got some different um, properties. But that's turning in and out, in and out now. Let's try the, try the original key. Yeah. 
Right, I can't show you too much of this job because we're on quite a busy road, as you can probably tell. But we've got this transit and its uh, gear cables are just snapped. So see the end there? It's meant to look like that end there. Um, I'll show you underneath, but like it just goes through the floor. A couple of bolts holding that in. Click it all into place. Job done. Ah, it's only Monday and we've got wrong parts already. So this is obviously your old cable. Um, just take note of that end there, that end there. Let's swap this around. So we've got that end there, we've got that end there. And then we get to this end. You see the connection there? We follow this cable down bottom one now we've got a different end on there there's just different connections um yeah so that's not great so i've uh messaged the supplier oh yeah that's the wrong one i'll update the system so that's uh that's really, really messed my whole week up because I'm busy tomorrow. This customer needs his van back on the road. I'm gonna have to go and do a job now and hopefully the part will be in by the afternoon and I'll have to come back and do it then. Never easy, it's never easy. Right, third time's a charm. Back on the mod modified four series. We've got our blanking plugs, so just need one on there. Probably get a little washer under there or something. And oh, we've got a we've got a sleeve to go over here from Dark Side. They sent that out. Kindly sent that out, free of charge. I might add as well. Um, it wasn't their mistake that I guess they sent me this one. It was just a bit of mis miscommunication because there's a 3.5 inch one which this is and there's a three inch one um so they kindly sent one out so we'll get this knocked out hopefully and they'll be driving again right with a bit of faffing about got the new pipe in there But of course, one last problem. So this sleeve that they sent us out fits great around the new pipe, but this clamp just isn't pulling the metal. See where it's got the cuts? Um, just too much of a gap on that original pipe. Um, so I think what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna try and get a, a smaller clamp that just pulls the metal in and uh, see if that works. But other than that, it's in. Just got to put some bits back. Right, bit of deja vu. Back on this Sprinter. Hey, got the PK, Polentech. Everybody, get on him to get his own YouTube started. You know, you, I've been on at him to get it started, but... Too busy. It's too, it's too, too busy. busy. But yeah, we got the new, or brand new second hand gearbox picked it up from a breaker all looks the same it's obviously been out in the, the weather so we'll clean that up um yeah we just got a, we've got some new gear cables as well new gearbox oil so this will be brand new good as gold so we're gonna get cracking we're gonna wait till we get the old one off We'll show you on the old one how noisy that even, was. Even look at the balancer. This, yeah. is, this is low mileage box, isn't it, to be fair? He doesn't know the mileage of it, but... It looks low. Yeah. Is it, it, Feels it's better clean, anyway. It? Yeah, it's clean. Even yeah. the balance shaft is... You can tell, isn't it? Yeah, everything's good. Life, we'll have new That's cables, one, everything one on there. All right, let's, let's, get, let's get cracking. That's good. Here we are, we're under here. Gear cables are off, they're gonna they just loop up there. Gonna get them off, we're just getting the prop off. Four bolts around there, four bolts around there, some of these hangers. 
He's on it, bro. Prop king. Prop king. There we go. He's no more pollen king, he's prop oh, king. Prop king boy. Oh, look at him go oh, with this lady's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's me mum's cold, Right, we're ready. Ready back there. Okay. This should come out a lot easier now. Yeah. You want to stick the strap on it or nah? Uh, nah, give it a little wiggle. Right. Give it a wiggle, it should come out. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, yes. Look at the control. Ooh. Finger finger, bye. Done that before, haven't you, James? <laughs> oh, the PK. He's too good. Coming to a YouTube channel soon. I'm going to batter him until if, he gets uh, it started. If you get. What are we saying? How many, how many uh, crowd, likes on the crowd. video? thousand likes i might make a, a video. thousand likes and i'll show you what i get up to maybe come on guys and that's thousand motorbikes, likes. all sorts of if people. you're watching subscribe and then, like comment and comment and then uh and i then might make one i'll put a link in the uh, description to his youtube channel so i'll just show you the difference in how they sound this is the old one nice and silent but, let me just turn this off. We do have a problem. Sensor on the old box, sensor on the new box. This is ever so slightly different. Um, so that's a problem. Mm -hmm. It's a big, big problem. Yep. Right, she's back on the ground. We'll have to be back another day with the no, right box. No flat battery. No flat battery. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. As you see yesterday, wrong parts all the time. But today I'm a bit more positive because I've got my boy with me. And it's raining. And I'm still, it's always raining and on I'm, this dog. And I'm still positive. <laughs> when we come um, back, it'll, it'll be dry. And we'll, we had that out in 30 minutes. Yeah, no problem. 30 so minutes. We'll we had the timer on. We'll smash it back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally, it'd be done so quick. Um, alternating out on a Bavara? Renault traffic. Renault traffic, thing. same thing. So. Never done one, so. Yeah, I've not done new one. New shape, so. Should be fun. Yeah. And right. They right, we've got this little Renault traffic in for an alternator. Um, the belt has come off, you can just see down there. And that's because the pulley on the alternator, um, or the clutch on it, is gone. Um, and there's a few other pulleys further down that are quite worn um, so grill off light out bumper out and uh, hopefully we should have enough space just to unbolt it and bring it through there so. what do you reckon James do you reckon? yeah I reckon so mate yeah if anyone can make it happen it's you look at the man YouTube sensation incoming we'll see so, too busy, man. Too busy. Too busy. Yeah. Two thousand likes on this video. <sighs> Three. Three thousand. Think about it. Three thousand views. Let's go. That's it. Let's do it. Go for it. All right, Aaron, you explain it where we levered in this corner here, when it? That's it. We just got the lever bar down there, and then pop turns out. It's an quite angle. tight against the uh, fan shroud, but it should hopefully come out. Come out. Famous last words. Yeah. Great. Well, because we all know if you've watched my old videos alternators out of spaces they should come out don't so may may have, may have to, to take a boost pipe so. may just to give us a little bit more wiggle room i think oh, I, I think so mate yeah then, yeah, then let's we've pop got that. it yeah. let's pop that um, cool. boost pipe out yeah and then we're good so a little clip up there a little clip up the bottom probably oh we're done here Right, so the all new alternator is in. We're just putting the belt in. Guide the pulleys, tensioner. Guide pulleys, tensioner. 
that's all in. Just got to root the belt, put it all back together, job done. Go and get some coffee. Right, that's me and James done on the alternator. Um, all up and running good now. Um, the wrong gearbox on that Sprinter has messed us up a little bit. So, I mean, we're going home a little bit early, but um, that means we're not getting paid for that job yet. Um, so, yeah, a bit annoying, but on our way home, nice easy I needed it I needed a nice easy day um, so yeah just on my way home now clean up the van ready for tomorrow good morning guys back on it you can see the cold um, yeah first morning I've properly had to um, scrape ice off the van today um, so we're out here we've got a full service so that's uh, spark plugs air filter um, oil and oil filter obviously pollen filter on this petrol golf 1.4 um, we've also got front pads and discs because they are knackered um, and then we've got a brake fluid change all round um, and then there's an engine light and an ABS light on as well so we can have a look at those but there's loads of things that could be contributing to that so <coughs> You got this breather here that's snapped <clears throat> you got this breather pipe that was loose you had that oil cap that was also loose <clears throat> and that was within the first few seconds of having a look so yeah we're just gonna crack on do all the boring servicing bits um and we'll get back to you in a bit right quick thought i'd show you um on these 1.4s Cylinder four, three and two, quite easy to get the coil packs out. But number one is normally covered by all of this, all this pipe work. And what people do is they're lazy and they don't replace this one and you get a, a misfire on cylinder one. Um, but as you can see, with a little bit of effort, just taking a few bits off, that's quite accessible now. Um, so we can get in there and change the spark plugs. Right, we've got all four spark plugs out. So you can see these old ones, Iridium. And these new NGK, they're platinum ones. Um, laser, platinum. So we'll just pop that into the end of the spark plug socket. Make sure it's in there nice and secure. Lower it down. And let's do it up by hand. And then we'll get the torque settings, which I think are probably 20 millimeters, maybe 25. <coughs> um, and some other common issues on these, the wiring starts to go. Um, the plugs, people break the plugs. So I've left the plugs on two of them um, because this one underneath, I'll show you, totally gone. So I don't want to disturb that. But yeah, just thought I'd show you. And obviously, like I said, using quality platinum plugs over the iridiums last longer. Um, so yeah. Just thought I'd show you the state of this pollen filter. Probably can't pick up a lot of it, but look at that. And as I took it out, big old nest fell down there. But we won't leave that mess there. Got the Milwaukee Hoover. There you go, leave it cleaner than what it was before. A very handy little tool I bought is this filling jug. So on a lot of cars, it's a slow fill. And then you can just fill this jug up as quick as you like. And it'll um, not overspill. 
Right, so the service is pretty much done. We're moving on to these brakes. You can see the outer edge. The pads are all right. They've been replaced at some point, but yeah, they haven't done the discs. So um, we're gonna get those done. So we'll have to get this clip out. Around the back, there's two seven mil Allen keys. Um, Fire this back, we're gonna do a brake fluid as well, I think, but look at those nipples. We're gonna get some brake fluid on there. Uh, brake fluid, um, WD-40. Um, and then we've got some 21 mils, I believe, or 18s. Um, and then Torx 30, job done. I just thought I'd show a little clip of how bad the inside of the discs actually were. And there we go, lovely brand new disc. So we're just carrying out brake fluid service. Um, starting with this wheel, because we've changed the brakes on that. Just got to put the clip back in. Pressure bleeders on, up to 1.5 bar, just under. The WD-40 did the trick on those nipples. Right, so we're just scanning the system for faults as you normally would on a full service. But also it's got faults in the system on warning lights on the dash. Intake manifold runner control stuck open. Turbo boost pressure not detected. And catalyst system bank one. And they're all active and static back another day and diagnose those a bit uh, more in depth but for now we're going to clear those they won't come back until it's driven so I'm expecting that to come back on got one in the brakes that's surely to do with the ABS system right rear ABS wheel speed sensor mechanical malfunction so we've not got the back off the ground yet so we'll have a look at that rear right and i kept the fronts off the ground just uh in case we needed to spin those or something so um right so we're at the rear right we've got the live data up for the rear right sensor so i'm just going to spin the wheel and you can see with my shaky camera it is picking up some sort of signal so we will go on the graph and ideally we want to see it not dropping out all right that's the brake fluid done just see how dirty that is that should be nice golden color all right that's the golf all done purring nicely not bad for 104 on the clock yeah brake fluid service is done um i think i cut away from the um me spinning the wheel because the camera is just all over the place um but i was getting the graph up and um yeah it wasn't i was looking for it to cut out a uh, section um but it wasn't um so uh really i mean you need a scope on it to get an accurate um, graph on there but uh, it's obviously picking up a wheel speed sensor or wheel speed um, so uh, possibly we will see how that goes the lights off for now um, yeah and go from there really um, just waiting for the customer to come down trying to have a quiet day all right we're back on this little Hyundai I've done that all in 84 struggled like mad um, and we noticed at the time this had been all bodged up and had holes in it so we've got a new one of these and look well that's at all there all right so that um, intake boot um, is done um, it was running a bit rough um, after um, or it was always running rough, but uh, I thought all these um, holes in this intake pipe might have just been causing the revs to fluctuate a bit. 
Um, but uh, there was a fault code in the system this time for um, exhaust camshaft, something to do with timing. So they've got these little solenoids on the back. Um, so one for the intake camshaft and one for the exhaust. Um, and I think one of those is just playing about. Um, so we'll have to quote up one of those. Um, and then I just had to nip round to, uh, if you remember this TIG one, I'm having problems with the suspension or the noise since I've done a spring and, um, well, I've done two springs, two shocks, top mount bearings, and uh, there was a squeak after I'd done the first one. Um, and uh, they messaged me the other day saying, oh, since you've done the other one, there's a knocking noise, like something's loose. But I've just been round there, everything's tight that I would have touched. I've checked all the other uh, bolts on the subframe and things like that. That all feels tight. So, um, yeah, we went for a little drive as well. Couldn't really see anything wrong or hear anything wrong. Like, it probably made this noise uh, once or twice. Um, and it's very difficult to try and distinguish what a, what a noise is and where it's coming from. The rear bushes were picked up on an MOT. Um, I had previously quoted him for complete lower arms with the rear bushes included, um, but the price is just, it's insane. It's insane the parts prices in a minute. So uh, he's all right though. He's gonna go away for Christmas and get back to me in the new year. But yeah, that is Wednesday done on the way home and we should be up the unit tomorrow might have to go and do those gear cables in the morning though um because i know he's going to want his car back soon or his van rather right see you tomorrow good morning everyone it's now thursday and we are back in the unit it's meant to be raining all day to be honest but been dry so far. The time now is 11 o'clock. I've got here a bit late. <clears throat> really needed to get here a bit earlier because I've got this Nissan Juke in. Um, so last week there, there, there was no curbside weekly uh, as such because I only worked a couple of days. Um, like I said, I had my Christmas, Christmas due with the other mobile mechanics. Um, the Thursday before that I had off and then I just flitted around doing a couple of bits so um, yeah I got the head off of this right so we've got the head off here and as you can see just one valve is bent luckily so yeah that's the head off um, just got to do that one valve I think it's one valve. It was quite a late night when I finished getting that off and had a check. So I'll double check everything. Um, yeah, I'm not going to film much because I've really got a crack on. I've got today and tomorrow to get this finished up and running and back to the custom by the weekend, hopefully. I've just had the delivery of this Golf. Um, that one needs an engine. It just went bang on the motorway. Um, so yeah i've got that to do next week i've got the clutch or a uh, slave cylinder to, to do on that orange audi s3 from last week's video week before um so yeah busy leading up to christmas and i've got all other jobs booked in so i've really got to get going so yeah i won't show you too much but i'll maybe show you in steps so there we go that's uh, the valve out so where it was bent um, I just had to knock this bit off and it just snaps. Um, and then trying to use the tool to push the spring down. So these uh, top hats, you press down on them with that tool, it sits in, in there. And the other end presses against it on the other side underneath here. Um, and then you've got little things called collets which are these little things. They've see the little grooves in there. 
they sit in the end of this valve and then stop the valve from coming down. But the problem I had was because this valve was bent in the guide, the valve was sitting lower down, which meant even compressing the spring down, it wouldn't, the spring wouldn't come past these little grooves. Um, Cause you see these other valves, they all sit quite high. Um, yeah, but uh, so what I have to do, knock this off. And then there was another piece, a bendy piece in there, which I've knocked off, which I think stupidly has gone into the um, exhaust. Um, so I don't want that. I'm going to have a look around for it because I couldn't see where it pinged off, but I think it went down there and into the exhaust. So I might have to take the exhaust off just because I don't want that going around the uh, turbo. Um, but yeah, we're there now. Right, heads back on, belts back on, a um, few various bits and bobs are back on. Um, I know I didn't show any of it. But uh, like I said, just had to get on and get it done. Um, it's dark now, so I'm gonna call it a day. Back tomorrow, finish it off. Hopefully it runs all right. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Right, we are back on this transit. See the road I had to do it on. It's normally quite a busy road. We've got the new cables in, all placed in there. They go into a little uh, hole in the ground. And then, and then we come underneath, that's where they come out. And then, uh, yeah, that's where they go, it's just onto the selector forks here job done right on to the next job We've got my fleet customer so a little while back the uh, door lock down there um, basically just broke so he's been having so I broke it just to get into it and then he's been having to open the rear doors if I can get in there just by pressing on that because it's holding up here holding this side holding down there so yeah just got to replace that today so this has got to be the most confusing door lock setup got that cable that bottom cable that goes to that i'm not quite sure what that does but it moves that little black tab at the back and this is that handle. You've got this one on an adjuster, which is the outside uh, handle. And then you've got one there, which goes up to the top. But there's no resistance on that whatsoever. So when I've put it all together, door's not closing. So I'm going to leave this back one off because that one seemed to be the problem and see what happens. Ah, more sodding about with cars. Oh, that's a nice transporter. So put the lock on. Like I've shown you, there's a few different cables that go on um, operating different handles. Um, I got it to the stage where um, everything was working. I could open and close it, no problem, and it was staying closed and I couldn't pull it open with my hands, which I could do various times. Um, it was like a little adjustment um, one, and uh, I must have just adjusted that correctly. Um, so that was all good. I thought, yeah, I'm done. Locked, locked it with the key. Um, and then that was it. Couldn't open it again. Um, it just, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with that. I've not got the time to be looking at it. 
I was meant to just put a door lock on, you know, 20 minutes at most, go and put a wing mirror on the other van, which I've done, that was fine, no problems, didn't film it because I'm in the mood. Um, yeah, but just messed about with that door lock for ages trying to get this door open because now my customer, he, um, he delivers food and stuff on pallets, so um, for him now it's a hassle. Um, so without breaking that lock open, which I did on the previous lock, and even though it's off the back off the van, I still can't get that lock. But I think I've busted that one anyway. Um, so yeah, I've now got to go back another day. Luckily, he's really understanding. He can see what I was doing and exactly what had happened to him has just happened to me so ideally I don't want to break this new door lock getting it off there's got to be a reason why when you press that lock button it's not unlocking there's a little tab that you can actually operate the central locking but I was moving that and it still weren't moving um, so yeah I'm going to have to go back to that Sorry for the noise, it's probably quite noisy coming up this hill. Um, so yeah, that's really, really set me back on a day where I was meant to just do a couple of quick jobs and get back on this Nissan Juke. <sighs> Honestly, um, I need this Christmas break, I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what I'm going to do in the new year. To be honest, I can't keep going on like this. I take it. I take all. I take it all on board. Um, you know, I, I want to keep people happy. I want to keep my customers happy. But when easy things don't go easily, ah, I just get so stressed out. And it's not good for my mental health it's not good for my general health um, being this stressed all the time I've got to make a change in the new year whether that's uh, taking on less work or I definitely just I've still got that other transit just sitting there so whether I get somebody else in a van but that adds a totally different stress into the mix, you know, where his mess ups or him not getting round the jobs, having the same problems that I would have had. I've got to then deal with that. So, yeah, not the best guys. Pray for Kirby. All right, we'll see you in the next job. I've just got to go and put some clips on a on an under tray on that Honda that I did last week with the. Um, transmission uh, cooler whatever it is radiator um, all those plastic clips just broke so I've just got to go pop a few in because the customers ordered the load and then finally get to the unit here we are out on a test drive all seems good no knocks, no bangs, power, no leaks. Happy days. Right guys, that is the end of the week. It's now actually Saturday. Um, I didn't feel much yesterday because I was just in a, a bad mood. Um, but yeah, got most of it done yesterday. Um, just buttoned up a couple of little bits on it today. Again, didn't film it, just wanted to get, get it done. Didn't want to be working much on a Saturday. Um, so yeah, that's all done. Um, test driven, um, no leaks, you know, drives, drives as it should. Um, I'd say if you went under that bonnet and had a look, you wouldn't know anything's been apart. That's kind of what I wanted, you know. Um,
so yeah that's the week done um join me again next week for another very busy week i think next week might be my last working week of the year i've had enough i need to chill um recharge my batteries go again in the new year um I might see if I can work on one of the cars I've got. Um, I've actually bought another car, so if you like this sort of um, build series, um, I've got one of those. Um, if you like my Mark II Golf GTI, you'll probably like this one. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching another week, Curbside Weekly. Um, it's been a bit of a stressful one, but. Uh, Hope you've enjoyed what I have filmed. I know it's probably not detailed enough for some, um, but yeah, we'll see you next week. And remember, if you're if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please just hit that button, give the video a like, um, gets the video pushed to more people that might like this video. Thanks for watching.